Hey guys, morning. Morning fist bump. Bam. All right, uh, let's get you into your project for the week. This one I think you're gonna like. It's uh, kind of a little bit more lighthearted and fun and should be, I don't know, pretty stress-free. Mostly you're just having a good time. Here we go. All right. Let's go. Slideshow. All right, so I actually uh, got this idea. I was looking at a Facebook post and some people had recreated some famous artwork. And I thought it was a pretty cool idea for an assignment. It's a good way to get to know some famous artwork and get to know some things about different artists while kind of having fun using the, you know, just the materials that are around you. So maybe you don't have the right materials and things, so you're gonna have to be really creative about how you do this. But first, let's kind of look through some of these pictures here. So this one, this is actually one of the most recreated works of all time, and people have been recreating this one forever. This is by a guy named, let's see, Grant Wood. Grant Wood, and this is called American Gothic. So if you type in American Gothic, it might be a fun way to kind of approach the project and see how different people have done this particular uh, drawing or painting. But here we have a pretty cool rendition where people were just using the materials they had available and they recreated this piece of art as a photograph. So that's what you're gonna be doing, is you're going to be taking photos of your recreation of different people's art. For this project, I'm not gonna have you do rough drafts or brainstorming, but I'm going to have you do one uh, art recreation a day. And so you should have four by the end of the week, and for each piece that you do, I want you to send me five fun facts about each artist. So by the end of the week, you should have got to know four different artists a little bit, and you've done a work using their composition. So I'm just gonna show you some examples. Here's another one of American Gothic. So kind of a different approach. Notice like the things that the people are holding and everything are different but they tried to keep the same composition so the things are happening in the same places. I think this is pretty cool. Okay, let's keep going. So here's a, the original Vincent Van Gogh painting. And here's a guy that looks just like him, side by side, pretty good. We'll look at another Van Gogh. So here's the original, and here's this guy's recreation. I like in this one, most of the things he created with paper, so he just like glued paper on himself. But he actually like went, took the time to like put chalk on his face and stuff to give it that same kind of a kind of a impressionistic style. Okay, here's the original, <laughs> and here's the recreation. So that one's pretty cool, and I think I have two of this one. Two different ways to think about it. Boom. So here's another way to approach it. Maybe you're not taking pictures of people, but maybe you're just like using interesting objects. Okay, next one. Here's the original. And here's the recreation. I kind of like this one. This is a Rene Magritte painting. He always did like kind of surreal weird stuff. <laughs> and here's this guy. Alright. This one's pretty funny, I think. I like the expression match from this guy <laughs> to this guy. Pretty funny. Okay. This is good. This is uh, Frida Kahlo. Pretty famous artist. She lived in Mexico. Anyways, and she had this super cool unibrow that she... Uh, she did a lot of, like self-portraits and stuff so if you're interested in her work but I kind of like <laughs> this girl here uh, just I don't know I think this will be a project where you can just kind of have some fun and maybe 
have some content that you can share with some other people. But uh, here's an interesting approach. I don't necessarily expect you to go full on body painting, but I think this is a P8 Mondrian. This is pretty cool. So here's the original and boom, <laughs> love this. So he didn't even have a real beard. He's got like a rag or something hanging out of his mouth with a vacuum on his back. So pretty cool. Here's an original. I think this one's made out of laundry. <laughs> and let's see. <laughs> this one's pretty cool too. Just like the expressions. Okay, so. Hopefully this is a fun project for you again. Here's your things that I would like you to do. So create one recreation each day of the week. So you'll have four and you're going to be including five fun facts about each artist. So enjoy your week, stay safe, stay healthy, and have an awesome time making art.